Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 1, and reads, For we know that in our earthly house this tent is destroyed. We have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in heavens. I repeat, for we know that in our earthly house this tent is destroyed. We have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Now, I want to divide the scripture into three parts. The first part says, for we know that if our earthly house this tent is destroyed. Now, what do we understand by our early house? Our early house is the flesh. First and foremost, I'd like to say that um, the body is a representative of ourselves in the physical. So also, the spirit is representative of ourselves in the spiritual. So here it speaks about the early house. The early house is the body. For we know that if our earthly house, this tent, that means this tent in which we dwell in, which our spirit dwells in, our body dwells in, our soul dwells in, this enclave in which we dwell in is the tent. That if it's destroyed, it can be destroyed by any means. It can be destroyed ultimately through death. He said we have a building from God. So where, what is that building from God? That building from God is our spirit. And ask that irrespective of human death, irrespective of the dying of the soul, um, of the spirit, the dying of, of the body, the spirit does not die. So that is what this scripture speaks about. It says we have a building from God, a house not made with hands. So the house is not made with hands, eternal in heaven. So as, as we have our physical ourselves here which is a representative of ourselves in the physical if we are of god we have our um, heavenly representative which is our spirit in heaven so that is the house this scripture speaks about this this scripture speaks about this house and that is um the the house that is eternal in the heavens Now, I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word, that we would be able to walk with it and run with it, that ultimately we would be able to go about our duties believing that irrespective of what happens, that we have our heavenly house. And also this will help us to continually live a righteous life and a life filled with faith that we may be able to get to our destination and fulfill our purpose on earth. All this I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless. God bless in Jesus' name. Amen.